Hello again to the second grade class at Fernway Elementary in Shaker Heights, Ohio. I'm National Smarty Calibries with Cleveland Metro Parks. I hear you're going to be studying adaptation. That's a good wildlife word. An adaptation is something that helps a plant or animal survive a little longer, like feathers on a bird. Come along, let's go find some. Ready? Yes, a freshwater lobster or crayfish. Look at the huge choppers on that animal. What a great adaptation. Also, the color of its exoskeleton is the color of that river. So that's great camouflage. You can't always find the animals, but sometimes you can find evidence that they were here. This is from a huge rodent called a beaver. And it's been chewing on this tree. It has huge long teeth in the front called incisors. And that is a really good adaptation for that animal to take chomps out of hard wood. So you take a look at the legs on this bumblebee. It's doing its job. It's doing a great job being a pollinator. Collecting pollen right on those legs. You do not want to mess with this caterpillar. Talk about a good adaptation. Taking a bite out of that would be a pain. This is a leopard moth. It's a black polka dotted moth when it has wings. But in the meanwhile, it's a caterpillar. It's gonna to need to overwinter either as this larval state caterpillar or in its pupa state. That's once it has a cocoon. You see, adaptations are not just not just the coverings of an animal, but maybe the life cycle too. So just the fact that it goes through metamorphosis from egg to caterpillar to cocoon to adult, just, the, just that alone, the life cycle, that's an adaptation too. Camouflage is a great adaptation, perhaps the animal kingdom's best. But unlike that leopard moth, the black spiny one from earlier, this monarch caterpillar, is very colorful, advertising that it does not taste good. The seeds from this burdock plant have hooks. That's a great adaptation for a plant to have. It helps get the seeds dispersed. Watch what happens. It's gonna stick to mammal's fur, or in this case, my coat. A different seed dispersal adaptation would be this or the spotted jewelweed, or boop, touch me not. Let's try again. Boop. So the seed pot explodes. All right, all right, all right, yes. A bullfrog. The adaptation list for amphibians is endless. But take a look at these long back legs. What do you think those are good for? Escaping a predator, you bet. They're long and they're strong. Let's see what happens when I let it go. Not much. Whoa! <laughs> that frog made an unexpected getaway. Kids, it's been great looking for wildlife with you. Until next time, I'm naturalist Marty Calabrese. Be sure to get out there and make your own observations. Find your own adaptations. Plants or animals have these traits and features for a reason. It helps them survive. Hello to Mrs. Hassel. Bye for now.